students today i am going to share with you all a very unique technique that will change your life you will be able to remember everything that you have learned yes you heard it right you will be able to remember everything that you have learned this approach or technique is known as 1730 approach 1730 approach now what's this let's get started with this Suppose you have taken up a chapter and you have learnt it very well. You have made notes, you have learnt the numericals, you have learnt the concepts very well and you are prepared for this chapter from the examination point of view. Now what happens next? Students, our brain, our brain retains any information only for 24 hours, that is one day. Why is this so? See, our brain is overloaded with information. Every second there is lot of information that it is that is going through it. It is processing so many information. Like you are surfing on the internet, you are talking to your friends, you are learning some other subjects, you are learning some other musical instruments, there are people talking around you. There are so many things that your brain registers. So your brain forgets things. So there is something known as a forgetting cycle. So our first forgetting cycle begins on the first day that is within 24 hours. So our first revision has to be within 24 hours that is if we have learned something on Monday we should revise it on Tuesday. Now you will be amazed to know that once we have learned something you take only one tenth of the time to revise it. That is, if you have learned a chapter in two hours, that is 120 minutes. How much time you will take to revise it? One tenth of it. That is, one tenth of 120 minutes. That equals to 12 minutes. So, the next day you will not waste again two hours. You will take only 12 minutes to revise the chapter that you have learned a day before. Now, students, you must remember that our second, second forgetting cycle starts on the seventh day of learning. Our brain again starts forgetting the things that we have learned on the first day. So your second revision should be when? It should be on the seventh day. And similarly your third forgetting cycle starts on the 30th day that is one month. So your third revision should be on the 30th day. So once you have learned a topic you should revise it on the very next day that is one then on the seventh day and then on the thirtieth day. This way you will never ever forget the thing that you have learned. You will be able to retain it till your examination. Right? So now some students tell me that ma'am if we do this way, how will we be able to manage our time? How will we learn all the chapters, all the subjects? See students, it's very easy. Once you have learned it in 2 hours, you are taking only 12 minutes and then lesser minutes to revise it. But suppose you don't follow this. Okay, you have done a chapter today, you take it mark, okay, this chapter is done. The other day you do some other chapter, the next day you do some other chapter and keep on ticking and you are very happy that you have prepared so many chapters. But once you open them just before the exam, you have forgotten everything. You will not even faintly remember what you have learned. So again you will take two hours to learn that particular topic and in one day how many chapters can you do? So there you hit your panic button, you stress out, you lose confidence over yourself and you think that you are a useless student, you are worthless. No, that is not the case. You have done so much of hard work, right? But where are you lacking? You have not revised it the way it should be. So students, for your convenience, I have shared a link in the, in the description of the video wherein I have helped you to make the timetable. So I have helped you there how to make the time. Any query, you can write in the comment box below. And please don't forget to subscribe us for your other syllabus related contents. Thank you.